Good morning all. Welcome to uh, Thursday and uh, another heavy dewy morning this morning. And I've found a, another little park. Um, this one's actually not that far down the road from the uh, Bunnings at, uh, uh, at Rothwell. Um, please Let me ask you this question, what's wrong with this picture? Please keep the gate shut at all times. Hmm, seems to be a bit of a problem there. And that can be a bit of a problem for you and I too. You, you and I can often ask ourselves, you know, what has God got planned for me or does God even have a plan or, because the plan for that uh, fence would have been to have kept kids in or out, uh, to have kept the dogs in and out or kept people safe to some degree or another. And um, it doesn't seem to be doing its job all that well. But um, I was considering this morning as I was, when I got up last night and I was trying to prepare for this uh, this morning and I thought, well, I'd pose the question, what is and we all have it, a, a favourite um, Bible verse. Um, something that we, we fall back to or something that we um, find as our, as our own personal, um, uh, what would you call it, mantra in life, something that holds us together, something that keeps us afloat. I've had one for quite a long time. And it's one I always go to, and it's one I always try to share with people. It's found in Ephesians chapter 2. And it's verses 8 through to 10. It says, God saved you by His grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for it. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so that none of us can boast. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so that we can do the good things that he has planned. And you might think, yeah, that's good, good, that's great. God has got something planned for me and, um, and uh, I've just got to recognize that and know what that is. What is it? Well, Paul doesn't leave us hanging because it goes further on. And if you go down to chapter three, he starts off with, when I think of all this, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the benefit of you Gentiles, Assuming, by the way, that you know God gave me special responsibilities for extending his grace to you. And then he goes on to say in verse 6, And this is, the, is God's plan. Both Gentiles and Jews who believe in the good news share equally in the riches inherited by God's children. Both are part of the same body and both enjoy the promise of blessing because they belong to Christ Jesus. By God's grace and mighty power, I have been given the privilege of serving him by spreading the good news. So what is God's plan for those who believe? Well, it's simple. Spread the good news. The weird thing is, he doesn't tell us to exactly how to do that to a point, as in, this is the procedure. Run a seminar, invite 50 people, pray for 50 people, hope that five people accept what you've got to say. Now that can work if that's in God's plan, but God has to fight, use you and I with the frailties and the weaknesses that you and I have and then work with those weaknesses and those strengths that we do sometimes possess so that we can spread the good news. For some, it's the ability to stand and tell people about Jesus. For others who have been given a, a more introverted or a quieter nature, it is by simply serving people. It is simply by maybe taking them a lunch or hanging out over the fence or doing something kind. All of those things combine together to share the good news, as Paul put it, for both Gentiles and Jew alike. So when I reflect on my verse, saved for his good worksmen, works, or the works that he has prepared beforehand, I know that God has works for me, but am I always in line with them? 
And that's the struggle for you and I, isn't it? We have fantastic ideas and brilliant things that we can come up with, but are they in line with what God wants us to do? Just like that fence over there in the park that's missing a panel. The guys that built it had a plan for it. The council planner, the, the town planner, the designer, all had a plan for that fence. But the problem is that fence is completely useless with one panel missing out of it. The sign, keep the gate closed at all times, works perfectly well. The gate works perfectly well. The rest of the panels work perfectly well. But the whole thing is let down because one panel is missing. You know, the whole plan of God is, can be let down, or the church's plan for reaching the lost be let down because one of you is missing. One of you hasn't shown up to, to use your talents and your gifts that God has given you to complete the body of Christ. Now, it'll still work. The fence is pretty effective up until a point. If I come from this direction, if I come towards the fence from this direction, it works perfectly well. And I wouldn't have a clue that there's a problem with it until I get a bit closer. And until I get a bit closer. And until I get a bit closer. And then if I'm an astute young person who's trying to get in, I'll get out. And I look across to the other side there and I see this empty panel. Then I know the fence is no longer a fence. It's the same with the church. It can look good from afar, but when you get closer and closer, when you get right up close to it, sometimes you can notice that there's a piece missing. I pray that, uh, that you're not the piece missing, and that if you are, come back. We can put it all back together. Because, my friends, we're part of a plan, and God needs us together to do that. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we just want to thank you for this new morning, this new day. Thank you for the opportunities in it. Thank you for your grace and your love that is just permeating through this day, Lord. And Lord, help us if we are the missing piece in the, in the plan to recognize that, to find our place in it, and to be a part of it, Lord. Help us not to be uh, distant and, and so far um, away that we are of no effect, Lord. So just pray as this day unfolds that you help us to find our place in the puzzle. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, I pray that it is a great day for you. And as all the people are heading off to work and you may be heading off to work yourself, may the day be full of blessings and richness. And uh, yeah, until I see you tomorrow, take care and God bless.